our first person to come up onto the stage is better suited for this. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Dr. Anurag Batra, Chairman and Editor-in-Chief, BW Business World and Exchange for Media. Can we have a round of applause for the gentleman, everybody? Wonderful. Thank you. It's a budget day. I am also focused on the budget coverage on business world, so that's what I'm checking on my phone. And I'm, I was watching the FM's uh, speech on businessworld.in. Um, welcome to the fourth edition of the Exchange for Media, PR and COPCOM 40 and 40. These are young leaders. And you know, when I was preparing for my session today, I said, what will I talk to all of you? First of all, uh, you must have seen in the last five days, the leading group from India, they had a PR crisis. Uh, they got a research report on them and uh, their share slid. And again, then there was too much coverage, rightly so, it's a large company, of what happened and a lot of commentary around it. Um, and I was thinking, could have that group handled that event a little better? And I have my three top uh, suggestions on that. And that illustrates the role of PR. My first point is that, you know, leaders, entrepreneurs, founders, CEOs, should have surround themselves with people who tell them the truth, not necessarily tell them what is the bosses want to hear. Because at the end of the day, everyone's survival and their thriving depends on it. And the link point with it is that the PR and COPCOM leader should have a role at the board. Because if a communication can get the stock to be down by $45 billion, by $45 billion, then the, the role of media and hence the role of corporate communication should be right at the boardroom. So I think, I'm sure, and also the right person, the right communication person in the boardroom can add value, and the wrong communication person in the boardroom can subtract value. That's true for every role. But really the point I'm trying to make is that PR and COPCOM has to have a role at the board of governors level, you know, board of directors level, at, you know, at a very strategic level and not just at a tactical level. I think it needs to change, it should have changed. Um, like lawyers have a big role in companies, CFOs have big roles. The CFO and the lawyer are very important because compliances have become important. So the role of the head of COPCOM has become even more important in the last seven days of what has happened with Adani Enterprises should be an eye opener. Second, I was thinking, what could, I mean, it's very easy to give advice to someone, how to lose weight, how to grow hair, how to run your company better, all kinds, you know, how to bring your children better. So I am a doer, I do believe in advice, and I believe good advice is very valuable, right advice is very valuable, but it's very easy to look back in the rear view mirror and say, oh, this person should have done that, that person should have done that. But there are three, so first is, PR and COPCOM people having a role at the apex decision making and they being very honest and showing mirror to the, to the promoter. That's very important. And the promoters are smart. It's not that CEOs, promoters, they know. Even if they may not agree, they will think about it. And over a period of time, they want to be successful. So they will implement, they, you know, Second point is what could have, what have we learned from this? One, who you feel when there is a crisis. How, you know, I read this cover, and trust me, I do read magazines beyond my magazine. So I read the Time magazine cover, it's called The Power of Speaking Less. Zip, a beautiful cover. It's a turquoise blue cover. In India, they changed the cover. They had a cover on environment. India's ESG is pushed. Uh, and I read the piece and I've, since last 10 days, I try to speak lesser, trust me. Uh, so also, is the person you're feeling, is he or she over communicating? I think we live, we get bombarding with WhatsApp, this. So over communication can be counterproductive. Especially when you're dealing with such a sensitive thing that happened in the last one week. Right? 
and Heidenberg is a short seller, you know, they short sell. So they have had a very successful track record till now. Everyone they've gone after, they've been proven right. At least they damaged the company, right? The stock price has been pulled down. So one is who are you fielding? Is the person that you're fielding believable, credible? Is the person saying the right things? Are you, is the person believable? You know, the CFOs and lawyers are too used to everyone listening to them. They're signing the checks, especially in listed companies, lawyers have a disproportionate advice. In India, still less, but in the US, UK, no big decision can happen without the lawyer's advice. So who you're fielding uh, to the media is also important. Should the promoter have himself come? I don't know. In life, there's nothing right or wrong. I mean, there's some absolute black and whites. But in these things, I don't know, maybe the promoter should have gone himself, but some people in his office would have told him, Nay, sir, you don't have to go. It's a small thing, we'll handle it. 45 billion dollars wiped out, it's a small thing. And the entire credibility at Quispake, it's a small thing. I don't know. So, I mean, I don't know the answers. And I don't, I'm not a theory person. Taking decisions, I take decisions very fast, mostly. Third point within this is, the first point was, you know, the COPCOM leaders having a seat at the head, at the boardroom level. Second is, what can you do in the crisis in the three lessons? One is, the person you're filling should be speaking right and should be believable. Second, should the promoter go himself? Maybe yes, in my view. You can come and do two scripted interviews, I'll say it as it is. This was the time to show your real metal. That's what I believe, right? Because it was significant. Third point is, it's a larger point. Is how do you choose your media engagements? When do you come out? When do you speak? Of course, you know, there are leaders who write their annual letters. Mr. Kumar Banglam Birla wrote one you know, we featured it. I think today, with especially if you're a listed company, again, you know, speaking just right is enough. What is less, what is more is always subjective. But I think you have to create multiple spokespersons because the touch points and the number of occasions that you may have to represent yourself has grown. Events will happen which may be outside your control, right? So I think creating more faces that are credible, spokesperson, I think the bench strength of faces of people who are credible and who also have gravitas when they speak and, you know, believability is very important. Last year in Exchange for Media, we started ranking the spokespersons of political parties. We came up just before INBA, we came out with spokesperson. It's not what you say, is it believable? for the spokesperson. Some of them are pure entertainment, right? So s some of the spokespersons scored well because they're a little more believable, a little more authentic. And my last point, no business, digital and technology has made an impact like in the media business. It's made impact in every business. We are speaking for 55 days after chat GPT, version three was launched. And again, I have a viewpoint that chat GPT will not replace humans. It may replace some jobs. Uh, and about 25 days back, um, a writer reached out to me. Uh, she helped my daughter on her book and said some of her friends have lost content jobs. Can you help them place? This is about 25 days back. So yes, some jobs will go, but chat GPT is based on machine learning on past data, past behavior. So it cannot, by definition, definition, create something new. So if you have to do a new painting, I mean, it can create a painting like it was created in the past. But if you have to do an entirely different way of presenting something, writing something, it cannot. So the human ingenuity will always be in, in play. Our too much reliance on technology is good, but it's not so good. So I think the touch points have increased 
technology touch points have increased, but the role of physical touch, maybe there should have been a press conference. Just fielding your spokesperson, your CFO on a Monday morning on two channels wasn't good enough because the retail investors are 8% and they're not necessarily only watching those channels. So I'm using the last week issue because it was a very important issue from a communication standpoint. Now one question you could always say that what has happened is bigger than communication. Is there a larger question about whatever was raised? Again, I keep saying coincidences are not so coincidental. And I wrote a piece 14 months back about how foreign media covers India, even in UPA1, UPA2, especially the last nine years. So there is a BBC documentary. There is a, I mean, at the end of the day, no one company is representative of the whole country in a good or a bad way. But the fact is, I want to give you one positive thing about Adani, is that a large part of India's GDP comes through ports, everything comes, and there are government operators of ports. But almost 20% of the GDP of India comes through Adani ports. And it is difficult to build infrastructure very fast. So they may be wanting to be India's largest infrastructure company, which they may become. But the fact is they're significant. So all this happened in one week. You can always think maybe there is a larger scheme around it. I don't know. I've never believed in conspiracy theories. But a friend of mine's father says, I've written it in the past, that coincidences are also not so coincidental. So I don't know. But the larger point is the role of corporate communication is becoming bigger and bigger. It should have a role at the epic decision making. They should be consulted and be part of every decision that is strategic. Of course, tactically they're involved. Second, in crisis field, the main man, if it is a crisis of this, you know, second is field people who are more believable, who talk just right when they talk, people listen. Third, create more spokesperson than one. And the last larger point is, just doing two appearances on two leading business news channels is good, but is it good enough? Maybe, so these are questions, no, again in life there's no right, wrong. It is very situational, it is very contextual, and there must be thinking which we may not know behind what happened, uh, why those decisions were taken. And I want to end by contrasting traditionally India's largest business house, uh, transition in the way they do their media. And I don't have to tell you traditionally in the last two plus decades, which was the largest business house in the country. Its name starts with R, the promoter now name starts with M. So, you know, I think over the last one decade, I've watched the kind of people they've employed. They've employed people. Traditionally, they would extend patronage to every media person. I think they've become very selective and very strategic, and they've changed the way they engage with media. I think there's something there to learn. And also, when large business houses will own media, when media will get an opportunity to report factual things, which may be not necessarily positive, the media will do that. So is it a good idea for large business houses to buy media companies? Not sure. Time will tell, you know, I'm not an Nostradamus or an astrologer. But these are questions in a gathering of COPCOM and communication leaders. I just wanted to raise these. I wish you luck. As I shared, this is the fourth year. Uh, we expect a full house in the second half. Uh, we have 95% of the winners coming, as current shared. We started the PR COPCOM domain on the site more than 17 years back. And we started the PR and COPCOM awards 14 years back. Uh, this year will be the 15th year. So we believe that uh, PR and COPCOM people have an important role. I mostly respond to every junior most person. I may not call back, but I text back always because I think they have a role to play. You got to, I answer mails. These are a little lesser because then, you know, 
is a continuous engagement, so I've purposely toned it down. But I, I think I tell my senior editorial colleagues in both the companies that PR people are an important part of what we do. Um, you must communicate, and even if you don't want to do an interview, tell them you're not. Don't lead them on. Don't keep it vague. Tell them we can't do an interview now. Whenever there's relevance, we'll do. But don't keep them hanging. They'll keep calling you. You'll waste your time and their time. So a point I'm trying to make is I've always believed that PR and Copcom are gatekeepers in some cases of the leaders that we want to feature. Uh, and they, we must engage with them in a deep manner, only not when we need them, but throughout the year. Uh, and you know, a lot of PR Copcom people ask for uh, meetings for their clients on a relationship basis. And depending on who should meet, we do engage. You know, Sometimes the promoter who's large, I'll meet. Otherwise, Mr. Jha or Noor, and depending on if it's an healthcare person, Jyotsna, so on and so forth. So really, the point I'm trying to make is that we at Exchange for Media always believed this is a very important stakeholder ecosystem for us. It's reflected in how what we do in this space. We also bring out PR Commune, which we launched last year. Hopefully this year it will become bigger and bigger. With this, I wish you luck, and I hope you continue to read magazines. And we are not in the, just in the magazine business. In exchange for media, we are not in the business of events or magazine, which is impact and pitch, or you know online. We're in the business of building communities. So we built India's largest marketing, advertising, media, communication community over the last 21 plus years in E4M. Within that, we built sub-communities. And we'll go even deeper in them. Same, similarly, in the business world, we are a B2C brand. And uh, we are profitable now. We'll grow. Uh, and you know, I lost, I lost all my hair in the last nine years trying to make business world profitable. It took a lot of investment. But in the last 20 months, we've been profitable. Our best time is ahead of us. We're in the business of brand and content. We're in the business of audiences and reach. Format and magazines are being picked up from stands. You'll be surprised, watch next six months. And I'm not just talking about ours. You know, I still buy a Time magazine, almost 500 bucks. Economist, almost 500 bucks. I like to read the physical magazine. It's good for my eyes. Plus, you know, on digital, two and a half time minutes spent on a site is significant time. I spent like every evening before I sleep 30 to 40 minutes reading a magazine, right? On a Sunday, much more, right? This, the habit of reading is not going out of, and print, is, print has its credibility. One surrogate is books, the number of books being sold, the number of authors writing books. So clearly print is not going anywhere. And I must tell you, the biggest corporate leaders that I engage with, they'll do an interview and then ask, of course the online goes immediately, oh, when is it coming in the print issue? It's always a question I'm asked. So clearly, I don't write off print. I've been hearing about print for last seven, eight years. I've been hearing about radio for 15 years. Newspapers for another 10 years. I mean, if newspapers, newsprint price hadn't gone up, by the way, it has gone up. It was $700 a ton. It is almost 1400 1200 to, I'm talking paper. Newspapers would have been actually very profitable because the revenues have gone up and some of the newspapers, most of the newspapers in COVID brought down their costs of people, right? So I just want to say that uh, we'll continue to engage with you in a meaningful and a deep way. Uh, we wish you luck. And the leaders we celebrate today are through a jury process. Uh, I get to know, I don't even have the list, I'm not asked, but I know one or two names because, you know, one or two ex-colleagues and, you know, Karan checked with me only in that context, I know the names. And I must tell you, we don't sell our awards. I met someone exactly two weeks back in my office, business world office, he's a guy, so work for a media company, now his own company. I won't name the company, you know. I want all media companies to do well. Life is about abundance. While we compete with each other, it's okay. But life is about abundance. So I won't take, but we don't sell our awards. And he told me, unka Bangalore mein event ho raha hai. 
सारे चालीस के चालीस जो जीते महिला हैं इतने पैसे दिए सो आई वॉज सिटिंग विथ टू ऑफ माई वेरी सीनियर सेल्स गाइज एंड आई वॉज वेरी क्वाइट लिस्टिंग टू मेकिंग नोट्स एंड आफ्टर ही लेफ्ट आई आज सोमेजीत सिटिंग इन सोमेजीत यू थिंक वट आई एम थिंकिंग ही वॉज ऑलमोस्ट एक्यूरेट ही सेट टू थिंग्स ही सेट वन यूर थिंकिंग वाई आर वी नॉट गेटिंग सेकेंड इज वी आर मिसिंग आउट ऑन सो मच मनी सेट यूर बैंग ऑन बट वी कैन डू दिस इट्स नॉट दैट वी डोंट लाइक मनी इट्स नॉट दैट मनी इज नॉट नीडेड बट आई थिंक विल बी लिटल ओल्ड फैशन इफ यू बिलीव इन सम वन वील हैव दैम इन द लिस्ट बट नॉट अ क्विड प्रोको सर लॉट्स ऑफ थिंग्स वी डू फॉर रेवेन्यू एंड वील कंटिन्यू टू दैम एंड वी आर नॉट अपोलोजेटिक अबाउट इट एंड वी डू आर अवार्ड्स विद अ ज्यूरी प्रोसेस विद ऑनेस्टी विद नो क्विड प्रोको एंड वी आर वेरी फ्रंट फुट अबाउट इट दैट वी डू अवार्ड्स यू नो बिकॉज एवरी वन से ऑल पॉलिटिशियंस आर बैड ऑल मीडिया पीपल आर लाइक दिस all pr people are like this all you know you can't paint everyone with a broad brush every organization is unique every person is unique so i just want to end by sharing a story last year we had the bw cfo world and one of the winners came on the stage and he had a long he had two minute speech but he went on for 10 12 minutes and he cried in the speech he said when i got the first bw cfo 40 under 40 it helped me he gave us too much credit to us you know i believe in destiny everything is destined you know i'm a hindu prarabd i believe in that so he gave us too much credit but the fact is it played a role some role at least it gave him confidence of not anything um so when the list is unveiled today i know one name because she used to work with me for 7 years and i was joking with her on the mail that because i wanted to meet you and you don't meet me that's why we have given you the award but that's clearly not the case uh, except that i don't even know who the 39 winners are uh, that's how we do it uh, in all our awards and you know ankit is here from e4 and he runs the d2c awards and i gave him feedback and last week i was here at the pride of india awards again i gave him feedback you know so we try and improve everything we do from a process orientation and mostly all awards are still subjective because the jury members are also human so awards is not a perfect process ours is honest process but it's close to perfect it cannot be because human beings are also taking qualitative you know who's right who's not right and in 5 minutes what can you decide so it's it's a very close to perfect process but it's not a no awards in the world is perfect so it's qualitative judgment humans are humans they have the biases for people against people they have to decide in 5 minutes but the process is honest and we do a lot of preparation of the jury before they actually come into the jury room so i'll leave it at that wish you luck uh, as we celebrate the copcom and pr community i think it has celebrated much lesser than it, it should be that's what i feel and i hope uh, today's initiative will help you in your journey in some bit thank you god bless you